Hi guys, so today we'll be doing the DS Marketing Project Excel Project Tutorial Part 2. From Part 1, we did we did the <clears throat> steps from 1 through 8. So now we'll be doing Part 9 through 12. So it says, Ashley is interested in how much revenue the 9 consultants each generate on average per month and for the year to date. Find this information as follow. Edit cell B14 to include a formula that divides the value in cell B13, the total sales for Connecticut in January, by the value in cell J2, the number of consultants. Don't change the reference to cell J2 that is already there. So we're going to go to B14, which is right over here, as you can see. So we put an equal because we're dividing, right? So then we find B13, which is right here. So we do B13, and we do a slash for dividing symbol. And you can see J2 is 9, which is up here. We click on it. And you click enter. You should get 37,167. Then it says, fill the range C14 to H14 with the formula in cell B14 to determine the average revenue per consultant from February to June and for the year to date. So next, we're gonna, before we do that, we need to put a dollar sign in front of the J2. <clears throat> now we do that, it won't change the value, but we do that to keep the column J in where it's supposed to be. So watch. So we're gonna take a little dot and we're gonna drag it all the way to years to date. Now you can see it looks like this, right? Which is correct version. But when we don't add the dollar sign, this would happen. So we're gonna go drag it again without the dollar sign. And it'll say divine slash zero. So you have to make sure that you add a dollar sign in front of the J2. Okay? I'm gonna fix this. Okay, so then next it says for step 10, Ashley needs to calculate the op operating margin, which is the ratio of operating profit or loss to revenue and indicate how much the office makes after paying for expenses. Calculate the operating margin and follow things. In cell B19, enter a formula that divides the value in cell B18, the operating profit or loss in January. By the value in cell B4, the revenue in January. So basically, we're going to B19. B19, which is right here. And we're going to find B18, which is... Wait, before we do that, we put an equal sign. Then B18, which is right here. And we use slash again for dividing. B, and we find B4, which is right here. We click enter. You should get 2.0%. Then next we should drag, drag our little dot to year to date. It should look like this from the final. Then it says, uh, Ashley wants to visualize the total year to date separated into states. Insert a chart to provide this visualization as following. Create a 2D pie chart based on the non-adjusted ranges A8 to A12 and H8 to H12. So basically, we're gonna do we're gonna go to A8. You can see sales by state to highlight. You have to hold to select it. You have to hold and then you drag it all the way to A12. It should be like this. Connecticut to Rhode Island. Well, basically, sales by state to Rhode Island. Then you want to hit command or control to hold the selection, but you got to hold it. Then you go to H8, which is right year to date, to H12, which would be 3,398,768. Then you're going to highlight year to date to like that. It should look like this, as you can see. Two highlighted sections. Then you would go to insert on the top left corner. You see insert right here that we go to this pie chart. 
feel a little pie chart right there. Now it says 2D pie. So you're gonna click on this one, the first one. And you should get this. Sometimes you, if you make a mistake, sometimes you have to highlight it <coughs> correctly or else the graph won't show. So I do highlight it. Command or control. Oops. Hold command or control. You're gonna delete. So you're gonna first select. First, select it, click command or control. Your due date selected, like that. Again, go to insert, go to the chart, and it should look like this. Okay, so we're just gonna put it to the side over here where you can see it, right? Then it says enter total year to date sales by state. You can type it or you can copy and paste it. So <clears throat> I'm just I'm gonna type it. So we do totally year to date sales. By state. Then it says you position and resize the chart so the upper left corner in cell K3 and its bottom right corner is in cell M17. Now, this is really important. You have to make sure the box is, <clears throat> is like at least smaller because if you don't, you can lose points or not even gain points for it. Just to make sure either is smaller or it's like at least inside the chart. Okay, and then it asks, <clears throat> apply style 17, 11, style, apply style 11 to the chart. So, <clears throat> to do the styles, you're going to click on the chart right here. Now, if you look up <clears throat> the top middle part, you should see chart design. You're going to click on it. Now, you see, if you hover over the picture for a while, it will show, like, the names. So we're going to go find chart seven, 11, which should look like this. As you can see, you can see the name. Should look in, <clears throat> When you click on it, it should show like this. This is how it would look like. You can see. Then it says, hide the guidelines from budget worksheet to make it easier to read. Because so to do that, you're going to go to page layouts. You can see right here top again top left corner right here and see where the mouse is now you see your first one and if you see that you can't click any of the, the buttons you have to click on the thing because you were on the pie chart so now you can do it you click no view anymore and it should look like this this is your final this is how it should look like This. <clears throat> okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this helped a lot. Bye.